Our universe began with a Big Bang about 14 billion years ago and has been expanding ever since. Looking up at a clear sky, there are stars everywhere and it almost feels as if you're at the center of the cosmos. Just when you were born, you think you are the center of the universe. Ancient humans thought the Earth was the center of the cosmos and that the Sun and all other planets orbit around us. But it turned out we are not even at the center of our own solar system, which lies in the outskirts of our galaxy, which is floating somewhere through the universe. In 1929, Edwin Hubble announced that he had measured the speed of galaxies at different distances from us and had discovered that the farther they were, the faster they were receding. This makes it seem as if we are at the center of the expanding universe. But in fact, if the universe is expanding uniformly according to Hubble's law, then it will appear to do so from any vantage point. It is thought that the universe began as just a single point, then expanded and stretched to grow as large as it is right now. But where is that point? Can we locate the center of the universe? While many may picture the Big Bang as an explosion, science suggests you rather see it as an expansion. Instead of a place where the universe started expanding because of the Big Bang, there's a time when the universe began expanding. That's what the Big Bang is, a condition affecting the entire observable universe at a specific moment. It's why looking to greater distances in all directions means looking back in time. The universe began about 14 billion years ago and started out extremely dense and tiny. Then, it appears that every point in the universe expanded equally. According to all current observations, the universe has no center and by extension, no edge. And this is in accordance with the cosmological principle, the idea that no place in the universe is special. For a center point to exist, that point would have to somehow be special with respect to the universe as a whole. Instead, it looks the same everywhere, at large and short distances. It has similar properties everywhere, including density, temperature, number of galaxies, etc. Observations reveal a universe that, when you zoom out far enough, it does indeed look the same everywhere. Since the expansion of space occurs evenly at every point in the universe, galaxies are separating from each other at about the same pace, giving the universe a nearly uniform density and structure. No matter how we try to define and identify it, the universe simply has no center. It is uniform and non-rotating. We certainly are not the center of the universe. We live on a little blue planet orbiting an average star somewhere in the outskirts of a massive galaxy of up to 400 billion other stars. And our own Milky Way is part of the universe which contains gazillions of other galaxies. Our home cosmic address is Earth, the solar system, Orion spiral arm, Milky Way galaxy, local group, Virgo Supercluster, Lanikia Supercluster, and the Universe. Just imagine how tiny we are, yet we are aware of this unimaginable vastness out there. The idea that such a tiny creature that we are is aware that it lives in a mind-bogglingly vast structure such as the Universe is just fantastic. Imagine ants being aware they live on Earth a rock orbiting a star with eight more other planets. That's just not how it works.
comment and subscribe to this channel. And please go support us on patreon.com slash cosmonology. Thank you.